Hello and welcome to the Tigray Pup channel. In this video, I will be testing out a wig that I purchased online to sell uh, for my business. If you would like to hear my opinion on this matter, then please keep watching. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you what the hair looks like straight out of the pack. Uh, as you can see, it's a body wave. And here are the dimensions here for your review. Um, what really impressed me is that the wig took two days from processing to shipping to arrive to my home. So I was very pleased with that. Right here I'm just showing you the texture of the hair while it's wet. As you can see, it has, a, it has texture. It's not bone straight. Um, <clears throat> Right here, I'm just going to blow the hair out and uh, see how well it takes heat. So I'm just taking my round brush and straightening it as best as I can. As you can see here, this is the texture of the hair once it's uh, been dried. I live in a humid area, so maybe that might have uh, might have some issue as far as like how straight it gets. But um, I'm pretty pleased. Right here, I'm just showing you uh, me flat ironing the hair. I'm going to show you what the texture looks like when that is done. As you can see here, it still has a bit of a wave. Uh, it's not entirely bone straight, but then, then again, why would you get body wave if you want bone straight hair? So right here, I'm just going uh, going in to cut the hair. Um, the hair was, uh, I had to cut up a lot, in my opinion, in order to get to the meat of the hair. Um, but right here, this is the, the look I've gotten so far. Um, so I went on ahead and I did a strand test. Here are the results. So it lifted pretty good. Um, it's pretty red orange. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so right here I'm going to use my super blue which I did a video on before, and I'm gonna to try to leave a link in the description. Um, in that video, I told you that I think this is a great alternative than to using a bleach bath or trying to lighten the hair yourself. But um, I, I did something different this time. Um, I actually did this to try to do highlights, which is something I really don't recommend, and now I realize why that is. It's because, um, you have to quickly apply this product um, and when you're weaving the hair and everything it takes even longer so what happened was uh, my hair color uh, my highlights and everything I have alternating colors I have some light lighter pieces some darker pieces orange red all kind of different colors so um, it's my experience um, that you should probably just use this for all over lightening as opposed to trying to do highlights and, and stuff like that because the process, uh, I mean the product, it deteriorates after so long. So uh, just me trying to experiment with something new, um, I ended up having to go with a color that was darker than I really originally wanted. When I could have just used powder bleach for my highlights or I could have did an all over color. Or all of the lightning with the oil uh, lightning cream so uh, that's my experience and now you don't have to make that mistake um, right here I'm just showing you the process as far as like uh, trying to get this stuff together um, you have to mix the powder and um, the developer together first and shake that really good and then you would go in with your oil uh, lightener here and that will be the third process. And then you would shake that for about 20 seconds. So uh, I was just showing you the process. But like I said, um, uh, don't make the mistake I did and do try to attempt to do highlights unless you have them pre-sectioned um, and everything off. Because if you're just doing this like normal, it's not gonna come out good. So uh, just my word of advice. Okay, right here I'm just showing you the process I use in order to lighten the hair with the um, the oil lightener I didn't want any uh, big bold uh, stripe along the hairline so that's why I'm just gonna weave that in I skipped uh, that section right there because like I said I didn't want anything too, uh, you know like right on the hairline so uh, that's what you see me doing here uh, apply it with the, the what you call it, uh, the applicator bottle 
and then I'm going in with my brush to try to work it in um, yeah so that's what I'm doing here I'm just showing you the process and I'll return with further commentary Okay, right here I'm just showing you that um, I completed the whole head. I actually used two bottles because I was afraid that I wouldn't get enough lift throughout the entire head. And uh, right here I'm just showing you the finished look. And I don't know if you can see it's a light brighter on the top and at the bottom it's kind of orangey. But uh, anyway, uh, I decided to do an all over color. As you can see, I, I went for an auburn, a dark and a medium. I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use in a volume 10 for deposit only. And this is the completed look. Uh, I wasn't too happy with it because, um, I don't know, I just felt like it was a little bit too dark. So here I go in again, and this time I'm going to be doing highlights with um, powder lightener, which is what I should have did in the first place. So, um, but like I said, uh, when I did the oil lightener with the highlights, um, the bottom, it was uh, very, um, I don't know, it just didn't work. So, um... I'm doing what I should have done, should have did the first time around, which was the highlights with the powder lightener. So that's what you see me doing here. Uh, right here, I'm just working on the money piece, and I'm just going to give you a snippet of the the process that I used. I'm not going to show the whole amount because this video is about um, testing vendor hair and trying to determine if this quality is the quality of hair or product that I want to sell to um, actual um clients so uh, just taking a look at that right quick okay I'm just showing you the highlights after they've been completed and we're gonna see what that looks like in a few just a reminder don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks Okay, so right here, I'm just showing you the two items that I'm going to be using to tone that hair. Um, at the bottom, I used uh, half and half of the cognac and the Cajun spice. And in the money piece, which is the very front, I don't know if you can see that it's sectioned off by itself. And that's just going to be the French cognac because I believe uh, one was lighter than the other. But I guess once I mix it two, um, it was all the same. And... Um, yeah, so that's what I'm um, doing here, making sure I comb it through, because um, especially at the root, because like uh, with these uh, these wigs and whatnot, you know, you have to get in there to really, especially where the track is. So like I said, that's the back, but I did half and half, and in the very front, I'm just going to use the French cognac, and I'm going to use my... Um, mascara wand to try to get as close to the scalp I mean I did that in the, um, the back already but I didn't show that process but I'm showing you now so I won't stain my lace so um, I didn't want to take any chances anyway I do have a black root but you know how sometimes um, you can still get blonde pieces in there and stuff so um, just making sure uh, everything is thoroughly uh, coated throughout just putting it upon my hand and taking off the excess and uh, raking that through with the mascara wand J again just making sure everything is thoroughly coated and emulsified throughout the entire uh, strand Okay, so I'm going to let that process for the recommended time. I'm not sure if it was 25 minutes or 30, but um, that's what I did for the processing. Here is the processing look. And here are the finished results. Um, I like it. It's giving me very Halloween. I don't know, but on camera, I can see the different tones, but in person, it looks very orange and black. Here it is on a mannequin head, so you can see... Um, what it might look like on a person um, you see variations of red and copper and you can see the depth of the black which is not technically black uh, you saw me do the permanent color 
Okay, so um, I want to give you my opinion now. Okay, some of the good things that I've gotten with this particular wig is that it was two days shipment from the time I placed my order to the time it actually arrived at my front door. Again, this was a 5x5 five five lace closure, 180 density, 16 inch with a HD uh, lace. Um, the hair was nice and full. Each track was nice, full and thick. The cap construction was really great. Um, I believe it's expandable to larger heads as opposed to some of the other wigs that I've gotten. And I'm very, I'm very satisfied with my purchase. And I definitely rate this particular um, vendor um, first place. So I consider this particular uh, vendor a uh, win. I would also like to mention in my um, emails with the vendor because they did want to do a WhatsApp. Um, I didn't really want to add another um, app to my phone because I need all my memory, as, as much memory as I can get. Anyway, so uh, they were pretty nice. They were very res responsive. Um, it didn't take a very long time for them res to respond back to me. And... Um, they had a great personality, you know, so, um, yeah. I would also like to mention that this particular vendor, out of all of the vendors that I uh, purchased from, was the highest priced. Um, so, yeah, that's something to also to consider. Okay, so the reason why I said that's something to consider is because um, if I have to pay more for my... Um, supplies then I'll have to charge more for the consumer so that's something to um, keep in mind don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching